Hi friends, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. We have a ton of new makeup to test out today. We have quite a few items from Made by Mitchell. A lot of you guys have been requesting for me to try out his newest products, so we are definitely gonna be trying these out today. I also really wanted to play around with these new single multi-chrome shadows from Odin's Eye. Every time I open this up, I just get so inspired. I also have the new Natasha Denona powder foundation to try out. Plus, I've gotten a request to compare the new Hourglass next to Natasha, and I think today's video might be a good one to do that in. We're gonna dive into it, grab a snack, grab something to drink, and let's get into the video. I want to start off with the eyes first. I am sure that some of these shadows will have fallout. Odin's Eye also came out with single matte shadows, so I'm thinking, I'm, I don't know if I want to use these mattes today i love the purples in this palette so i want to play with the purples today so y'all know i'm grabbing my trusty danessa myrick's blooming romance palette i literally just woke up so if i sound a little bit stuffed my allergies always get me in the morning i'm gonna take this shade my favorite shade evermore and i am going to basically run this shadow in the crease the star of the show is definitely going to be those single shadows. I just want this shade to kind of clean up the first shade I just put down. I'm going to go into the powder side of each of those shadows and I'm just going to go over where I put that cream color just to help set it and intensify the color. Let's see what color. This is the shade I want to go in with today. It's called Modi and I want to just pop this color all over the lid. This one is kind of like a foiled creamy color oh my gosh yes it is very foiled and very creamy but look at how reflective that is i wonder how this would be if i just was to tap it all on the eye and not do this because this is intense but if i was to tap it like disperse glitter oh i feel like i like oh i feel like i like how this looks more Kind of just like tapping it on rather than swiping because if you swipe you get a lot more intense pigment like this but i like how it looks like dispersed glitter on the lids but i've already done the damage over here so i kind of have to even it out and swipe a little okay modi i see you look at this very pretty. Let's watch Grace. Grace looks very pretty too. Wow. Ooh, this is a gorgeous kind of like multi-chrome. I see gold. I see green. It's like a greeny gold and like peach. This one is Carter. Oh my goodness. That, that is gorge. Look at that. It's like a green to like a dirty gold. Moving on to complexion. Let's do a little bit of prep. I'm going to go in with the It Confidence in a Gel Oil Control Moisturizer. I've been loving this moisturizer, especially because it is oil free. I do feel like this moisturizer helps to control the oils. It also hydrates too. So I have been reaching for this every time that i do my makeup sunscreen i'm using the it cosmetics hello sunshine this is another product that i cannot stop reaching for i love that this blends in literally 0.2 seconds truly our skin just looks really healthy and very hydrated even if you have oily or combo skin you still gotta hydrate that skin y'all y'all still gotta hydrate that skin i'm just gonna color correct because we are going in with a skin tint and i do not want any discoloration to peek through because it's not going to give us as much coverage as a foundation let's get into the truth tint from made by mitchell so i picked up the shade what shade did i get i picked up the shade tt14 i had so much trouble figuring out what would be my shade i really really did this is what the packaging looks like it's very very cute this is mitchell's first complexion base kind of product like this i almost forgot i did pick up his pore paste primer the packaging is so cute this is a blurring primer that says pore face right here it has that soft matte packaging that made by mitchell always has this is designed to blur the pores and this primer easily glides into the skin for a smooth skin texture and blur the complexion with a soft finish let's see so this is what it looks like as far as the texture okay it does feel like it's going to be one of those soft primers. 
you guys see a difference with my pores on this side of my face compared to this one? I do feel like it definitely did smooth over everything. Definitely feel like it's doing what it says it's supposed to do. Kind of creates like a filter-like effect. So, okay, so far so good. Let's get into this tent now. So it has like a little ball in here where you have to shake it up. Like I said, I had trouble figuring out what my shade would be, but we're gonna see. We're gonna see. We're just gonna do one side. I think I'm gonna use, I wanna use a brush, but I kinda wanna use a sponge. Let's try a brush on one side and a sponge on the other. So this is a light coverage kind of product. It's not gonna give you, you know, a lot of coverage because it is a tint. It's just supposed to even you out. And it does have like a glowy kind of finish to it. Yeah, definitely light coverage for sure. I think I did pretty good with this match, I think. I mean, it is a skin tint, so it's going to stretch across a lot of different skin tones. But I think I did pretty good with this match. I did a lot of contemplating on that website. A lot. I definitely like how this applies with this brush. I feel like when it comes to skin tint, using a sponge, it's going to soak up so much of the product. It already doesn't really give you that much coverage, so... I kind of prefer a brush to get the maximum coverage I can get out of a skin tint. I don't feel like I have as much coverage on this side as I do this side. It definitely does give like a glowy kind of effect to the skin. Definitely does not feel greasy or anything like that, but it is very glowy. I feel like the true test is seeing how this is going to set with the powder and how it wears throughout the day because I'm very intrigued to know how this is going to wear. So here's two layers of the skin tint all blended in. It is very, very radiant. I feel like if you like glowy products, you might really like this finish. I have combo oily skin, so that's super important to know. I just hope that when I set it, texture isn't emphasized, all that stuff, because right now I'm seeing a lot of glow. Since we're using Made by Mitchell products, let's go in with the curve case before we go in with the concealer. Lately, I've just been using these two on a Day when I'm going full glam, I'll use all three of these shades. So today I'm just using Shade and Laid and Chocolate Charm. I take the shade Shade and Laid right here on my cheekbones because it's more of like a contoury kind of shade for me. And I just like to use this shade to kind of sculpt out my cheekbones. Then Chocolate Charm is a lot warmer. It has a warmer undertone. So I like to use this one more as like my bronzer so I'm gonna take this one up here and as you can see it has a lot of red in it I really feel like the finish of the skin tint is just like the finish of the curve case and I love the curve case I like the finish of this I feel like it sets beautifully with the powder so I kind of have high hopes that this is going to set beautifully let's get into the bolt bomb concealer i picked up the shade bb11 i had a lot of trouble trying to figure out my shade for this i like a brightening concealer a lot of these products are pretty inexpensive which is really nice the bolt bomb concealer retails for 16 dollars, so it's going to have like a glossy finish so your girl is going to be super super radiant i want to give it a swatch like that. Interesting. I'm going to go in with my favorite concealer brush. Take this under the eyes. Okay, yeah. It's definitely going to be more of like a brightening color for me. It definitely does have a lot more coverage than the skin tint for sure. I'm going to go in with a second layer of this just to see how this builds up. Yeah, definitely a buildable coverage. Very, very buildable. I feel like this color is a little bit lighter than I was anticipating in the pan. I don't know. I thought it had like a nice warm undertone to it. I'm going to do this side. Because there's so much glow, if I wanted to use this concealer, I would use it with a different base product. Or if I wanted to use the skin tint, I would use a different kind of concealer. But just trust the process. I feel like with this particular formula... Going in with this brush, it's not going to really benefit me. So I just want to place this down here. It looks so crazy. I'm going to take the sponge and just go over. I don't know if I'm crazy about it. Then I feel like when I do go over it with the sponge, it really does take away some of that coverage. I'm just going to use my finger to blend this in. 
I think that's gonna be as good as we're gonna get this to look right now without it looking crazy. Let's go ahead and use the Curve Case XL. I think for today I wanna use, hmm, what color do I wanna use? Maybe this one, a Shy Boy, that's really pretty. Let's take a little bit of this one. I'm just gonna use my finger. I don't want it to pick up the product underneath. A Shy Boy is Mitchell's favorite color, which is so, it's so pretty. It's like a peachy kind of color, but it's like, it's very gorgeous. My brush and just kind of tap to blend it into the skin, just like that. We need to see how this is going to set with a powder because girl, we need to see. I'm gonna use my Ami Cole setting powder. How this sets with the powder because you never know this is like the true test right here seeing how this sets with the powder okay okay definitely have to remember this is going to be a lighter coverage makeup day all of it's given set the full face if i could just like drench my face in powder i definitely would I'm gonna go in with my make beauty bronzer I've noticed that Mitchell has come out with a lot of glowy stuff lately. I don't remember what his skin type is, but everything has been super glowy. Aside from the primer, I'm very shocked that he came out with more of like a mattifying primer and everything's been glowy, but I kind of, I really do hope we see some more like matte products and if not true matte products, I would love to see more soft matte you know like you know more soft matte i think would be really nice blush y'all know i'm gonna go in with one of my new nars blushes because i love these blushes i really want to go in with dominant but i'm gonna try to stop myself today uh i think dominant honestly is gonna look the best because i have like these more like brownie almost everyday colors but i could do both i could do dolce vita today with the other one so i'll take dolce vita higher up on the back of the cheeks back here and then we'll take dominant more on the front if you're curious about why i put cream products on and then set it with the powder product like how i go in with a cream blush and then i always put a powder blush on top i just feel like it helps with the longevity of my makeup it's definitely like the underpainting method it really does work it really, really does. Going in with Dominant, I love this little ombre blush effect. I think that's super cute. All right, so now we have the Natasha Nona Powder Foundation and the Hourglass Pressed Powder. So the differences between the two, there are significant differences. It's going to give you coverage under the eyes. It has a lot more colors because it is a powder foundation. I just personally like to use powder foundations under the eyes to give myself more coverage. I would reach for this product when I'm going more full glam or more soft glam. I feel like with the products that I use today, this really would kind of not go very well with what I got going on. But for a look like today, I would go in with the Hourglass because the Hourglass is a lot more sheer, but I still feel like it has a little bit, a little bit of coverage. I feel like this one is definitely more of like your pressed powder. You can, you know, use it to set your face, use it to, you know, kind of smooth out the under eyes. Whereas this, you can use it literally all over for everything. Out of the two, I lean more to this one from Natasha because I like full glam. I like full glam. I like a smooth, bright under eye. The shade I have in the Natasha Denona is NY12. And this is what this one looks like. It gives me a nice bright under eye. This is the shade Translucent Tan. It's a lot more sheer, a lot more thinner. Really up to you and like what you're looking for. Are you looking for something with a lot more pigment? Something to use as like your glam powder? Or do you want something more for every day? And I feel like this is great for every day, but also you can use this on full glam moments too. I was using this powder for literally soft glam looks, everyday looks, all of that before this one came out. So now that this one came out, I'm using this for full glam, this one for every day. We're gonna use both. So let's go in with the Natasha Denona. This is the coverage and intensity you get, a lot of pigment. So I am going to tap some of this off. I'm just going to go in on the under eyes to kind of like smooth this out. Give myself a little bit more coverage under there. And here's the difference. So I didn't want to go super intense. I would usually just rub my puff in here and go straight into my under eye. But I don't have a full glam look. Everything is a lot more lighter today. So I didn't want to do that. But this is what... 
Be Natasha looks like. You definitely can build it up to get more intensity. If you want to see this built up with more intensity, I'll put a little video on the screen right here just so you can see how it looks if you go a little bit more full glam straight into it. On the other side, we're going to do the hourglass. And hourglass is a lot more sheer with the hourglass. I do feel like the Natasha powder is a lot more blurring than Hourglass. As you can see on this side with the Hourglass, the coverage is a lot more sheer. It's not as pigmented and blurred as this side. So those are the two differences. You let me know which one you prefer. I feel like this will be good for what I have going on right now, but for full glam, this one is perfect because it does add that coverage under the eyes. Hourglass, I think, only has like four shades or four or five shades. It's meant to be sheer. It's a sheer pressed powder. I am going to go ahead and even myself out though because I have more coverage with the Natasha on this side. I'm just going to go in with the Natasha on this side and I just like to take it kind of over my pores to kind of like help to blur them even more. I just feel like my look looks a lot more smoother now that I went in with this powder. I need to put a little MAC Fix Plus on. So for my lip combo, I'm going to go on with the Freck Lip Liner. I'm going to take the Sephora Collection Sheer Lip Shine in the shade 3. This is a nice little everyday lip combo. Definitely does have like a slip to it for sure. Let's do a little Rare Beauty Highlighter in the shade Flaunt. I'm just gonna keep it on my nose. All right guys, so it is actually the next day after I filmed everything you've just seen. I accidentally deleted the last clip that I filmed yesterday showing you guys the finished look. I actually think that happened for the better because now I'm able to sit down and tell you guys how my makeup wore yesterday. I'm wearing the skin tint and the primer again today. Let's start off with the concealer. This concealer did not wear beautifully on me at all. My under eyes were super creased and very emphasized, which is always my concern when it comes to radiant products, specifically concealer. I just felt like my under eyes did not look smooth. And even looking back at the footage from yesterday, I just felt like my makeup wasn't the best that I know it could be. And I do feel like a lot of that has to do with the fact that I went in with a lot of radiant products. Unfortunately, the concealer just wasn't a standout for me. The shade was a little bit too light, but aside from the shade, I didn't really like how this wore on me, unfortunately. Now, the skin tint wore a lot better than the concealer throughout the day. This is definitely not a long wear skin tint. I mean, that's to be expected. It is a skin tint. It does have a radiant finish. This is a product you will have to set with a lot of powders. And if that's something that you really don't want to take the extra step to do, then I don't know if this is going to be the product for you. I I applied it again today and this time I used it with products that I love. Looking at my makeup up close, I'm just like, I don't know if the skin tint is for me and that's okay. I can do radiant products to an extent, but I just feel like this is just super, super glowy and radiant. A little bit too much for me because I like to go in with a lot of powders, blush, all of that. I'm just not the biggest fan of how my makeup looks after I'm done with everything. I feel like today it's okay, but if I was to get, I have no idea what this is on my face, love that, <laughs> but up close, if I was to get up close, you can kind of see my skin looks pretty good, but the skin tint does not look very good around the mouth area at all. And I just put the skin tint on about maybe 30, 40 minutes ago, max. I feel like if you're the kind of person that loves more radiant skin tints, more glowy, lightweight products, you might like this product, but it's just not for me. I do really like the primer because it does add like that soft, blurred, smooth canvas kind of effect. It does exactly what it says it's going to do. Y'all know I love Made by Mitchell and not every product is going to work for me and that is absolutely okay. One of you out there who are watching this video is probably looking at these products and you're like wow I'm gonna love that that's gonna be good for me not every product works for every single person and that is okay I'm just glad I was able to try out these products because y'all know I love made by Mitchell so much and I'm gonna try out literally everything that he comes out with but I just wanted to share my thoughts on these two products right here I do hope this video was helpful in some way let me know your thoughts down below and I'll catch you guys in my next one bye guys